Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler. And today we're going to start talking about some of the most missed types of questions that are found on the GED math test. So let's get started. So one of the questions that gets missed the most often involves perimeter and area of polygons, specifically a circle. So for this example, they ask you to calculate the area and the perimeter of a circle that's shown here. And for perimeter and area, there are two different formulas. They can be found on your reference sheet, so I hope you reference those. For perimeter, <coughs> perimeter of a circle is found by multiplying pi times 2 times your radius, or pi times diameter. But in this case, I have a radius, so I'm going to use this formula. What you want to do is plug in the information you have and solve. So perimeter equals 3.14 times 2 times 7.3. You type this into your calculator, you'll be able to get your answer. And when you do that, you end up getting 45.84. Okay, so let's look at the area. Area is a different formula. It's pi times r squared, which is different than r times 2. So again, plug in what you know and simplify it. 3.14 is pi. 7.3 squared. So again, type this in your calculator. This is a little bit bigger number, so I'm going to use my calculator for this. Three point one four times seven point three times seven point three again. And I get one sixty seven point three three. Okay, let's actually write that a little better. 167.33. So that's how you find perimeter and area of a circle. Now let's try the opposite with the same type of example. Let's say they give you the area of a circle and they ask you what is the radius. Well, you can still use the area formula. You just have to solve for a different part of it. So Area equals pi r squared. Plug in what you know, solve for what you don't. 615.44 equals pi is 3.14 r squared. So we need to solve for r, we need to get it by itself, so divide both sides by 3.14. and then start simplifying. 615.44 divided by 3.14 is 196, and that equals r squared. Now if you know r squared and you want to figure out what r is, just take the square root of your number. The square root of 196 is 14, and so now you know your radius is 14. All right, so let's try one more example. This one with a different shape. This example says calculate the perimeter and area of the composite shape below. A composite shape is basically one like this. It's one that's not your normal rectangle, triangle, square, etc. What I like to do with this, first of all, I need to figure out all of the sides. They only give us part of them. And then what I'll eventually do is divide it up into sections. It makes it easier for me to find the area and the perimeter. So, I'm probably going to start by dividing this into sections first, just so I can see piece by piece what's happening. So I would draw a line probably here and here. Now I have three distinct parts. I can figure out the sides. So let's see. Here I need to find a side that's the height of this. Oh, I can use the other information that I have. On the right, I know that the entire height is 10. I know that I have a height of 4 I can subtract off and a height of 3 I can subtract off. So 10 minus 4 is 6, 6 minus 3 is 
three that has to be the height there. Okay? Now I know on the bottom, the entire bottom length that's shown here is six. Well, I can subtract off this one that starts from the far right. That'll give me part of this distance here. So I know that six minus one is gonna give me five. And then I know that the rest of it up top here is the same as the bottom two. So two. Now I can use that information to figure out the perimeter and the area. So the perimeter, to find a perimeter of any shape, you just add up the sides all the way around it. So there's a lot of numbers to add up here, but let's go ahead and start doing that. I start with one, I have one plus four is five, plus five is 10, plus two is 12, plus three is 15, plus two is 17, plus three is 20, plus six is 26, plus 10 is 36. So 36 units. That one's a little easier. The area is a little trickier. The area, I can figure out the area of each of my parts and then add them up. So over here on the left, I have a three by two rectangle. In the middle, I have a uh, five by, let's see, three and three is six, so six by five rectangle. And on the right, I have a 10 by one rectangle. I can add those up and get my area. Three times two is six. Six times five is 30. And 10 times one is 10. Add those up. Six, six plus 30 is 36. 36 plus 10 is 46. So when you get to different shapes, whether they're circles, triangles, rectangles, squares, etc., the perimeter and area always have a formula to use. It's a matter of figuring out what you have, plugging in what you have, and solving for what you don't have. So I hope this makes these questions a lot easier for you. And good luck. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.